Why don't you ever play hide and seek with Julius Robert Oppenheimer and Barbie? Because Oppenheimer always split to find a secret hiding place and Barbie is always made up. And now, let us look at 11 critical differences between the two. Let's compare the differences between Julius Robert Oppenheimer's Barbie, two very distinct entities from completely different spheres, one from the field of physical science and the other from the world of toys. Difference one, Julius Robert Oppenheimer was a real-life physicist who is known for his monumental contributions to science, particularly as the scientific director of the Manhattan Project, which helped create the world's first atomic bomb during World War II. Barbie, on the other hand, is a fictional character which is a best-selling toy doll manufactured by Mattel Inc. and was launched in 1959. Difference two, Oppenheimer was an adult male human being, whereas Barbie is a plastic toy modelled after a female character. This pertains to their physical appearance and inherent attributes which are essentially contrasting. Difference three, the life of Oppenheimer was riddled with ethical and political dilemmas triggered by the influence of his scientific achievements on the outcomes of war and global politics. On the contrary, Barbie exists in a fantastical context where issues are greatly simplified and primarily revolve around fashion and lifestyle. Difference four, Oppenheimer's character and life goals were defined by his profound interest in understanding the physical truths of the universe, eventually making significant and critical contributions to theoretical physics and atomic science. Barbie, however, is portrayed as taking on different roles and personas over the years to inspire play, imagination, and role-playing among children. Difference five, the context in which they are considered of significance vastly differs too. Oppenheimer is known for his work in science and his intelligence, whereas Barbie is valued for its influence in pop culture and the toy industry. Difference six, the relevancy of Oppenheimer's work is seen in the academic field of physics and the field of nuclear technology. Conversely, Barbie is relevant in the realm of children's toys, play and recreation. Difference seven, Oppenheimer's role as a scientist contributed to the substantial development and progression of knowledge and understanding in physics. Barbie, however, is used more as an educational tool to teach elements such as role play, social interaction and even fashion awareness. Difference eight, a further point of difference lies in their target audience. Oppenheimer, because of his scientific background, appeals more towards scholars, researchers and those with an interest in science. Barbie as a toy is primarily marketed towards children. Difference nine, Oppenheimer in his lifetime delivered lectures, wrote numerous scientific papers, and contributed to breakthroughs in quantum mechanics and cosmology. Barbie communicates no scientific or academic knowledge. Instead, it conveys various societal roles and occupations to its users through imaginative play. Difference 10, Oppenheimer's work and contributions to science and technology, particularly nuclear technology, have world-changing implications. Barbie, although a cultural icon of sorts, doesn't influence world development in any significant way. Difference 11. The legacy of Oppenheimer is his scientific contributions towards atomic theory and the development of atomic weapons. Barbie's legacy is enhancing imaginative play among children, influencing the toy industry and being a part of popular culture for decades.